Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions Insider Commentary. It is Monday morning, July the 31st, last trading day of July. Thanks for joining us. We are seeing lower prices overnight in the grains as we gap lower in corn. Beans are actual downside leaders in here. Cool and wet is the forecast over the next 11 to 15 days. That's pressuring soybeans and weighing on all the grain markets in here. But uh, we are put this out in our weekly insider newsletter which you can get a copy of that rains in the last half of July and into August is going to be bearish for the soybean market and we're seeing evidence of that with uh, 11 to 15 cent losses overnight we just had a flash sale of corn 150,000 metric tons to Colombia should provide just a little support this morning but not enough to change the really the trend of this market in fact I think the corn market's been trendless for at least five months now as we're seeing sideways choppy action in corn soybeans kind of the same thing a little bit more volatile than the corn market but it's been uh, you know a 15 to 25 cent range for the better part of uh, five months in the corn and that's very hard for traders to make any money on on a trendless market like that choppy action they don't like that type of market and may become disinterested in it if they haven't already uh, in our trade newsletter, which is available on our website and our newsletter that can be sent via email, uh, we talked about there's only two markets we'd be interested in being long at this point in the grains. That is oats, which we took some money out of in the overnight, and in bean oil, which we tried to buy, did not get it bought, and then it uh, really took off and rallied on Friday on the EPA ruling. So we don't look for the grains to have a big sell-off in here, but certainly I don't think you're going to see a lot of buying either. The, the weather and the crop conditions, not good enough to see a major sell-off like we've seen in years past, but it is good enough that we could see some prices moving lower here uh, over the near term. In the livestock trade, I think we're going to try and open a little bit better. We sold off on Friday on some news about Japan, uh, raising import duties on U.S. frozen beef, and that sold us off, but we've closed down into support. I think we do try and open steady to higher today in the trade once uh, trade commences. Now, if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact me. I will be here all day. We have uh, seven offices around the Midwest that can assist you as well. Full service marketing, discount brokerage services, and our market solutions hedge program for hedgers out there that want advice on cash sales and futures and options transactions. Have a great day. This has been Brian Hoops for Midwest Markets. We'll talk to you again soon.